Hello everyone and welcome to this next video. In this video we're gonna talk about wind and foliage and how to enable it into the Quixel Megascans foliage. So let's just get started. Also I'm gonna cover a few problems that you may encounter and how to solve it. So this is a pretty basic scene I've created over here and right now we are going to create a weed field and we're gonna apply wind to it. So let's just get started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your Quixel bridge over here and you need to type wheat and here in the 3D plans just click on it and I've do downloaded this one the first one the second one and the fifth one all right so you just click on it download and add it to your project okay the next step is we want to paint some uh, foliages onto our ground so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna go into foliage mode and I've already added them, but let me show you how you can add them. You need to go and find the foliage that you added uh, from your Quixel Megascans. I'm going to click here on 3D plants and those are my foliages. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to drag and drop them over here into my painting tool. And here I'm going to select paint. And right now, from the brush size, I can scale up the size or I can shrink it down. And from the point density, I can create the density of my foliages. If I go up to one, it will create more dense foliages. Let me just test this out. And we've created some foliages, but this is not looking good for uh, a wheat field. And I think they're pretty not dense at all and we have uh, our uh, point density up to max you cannot put 3 or 40 in order to make them more dense so this is the first problem that you can encounter so let me show you how you can solve it so you need to click on this uh, first foliage and you need to go to the painting and density over here and we can boost this up to 300 and you need to go all over the foliage that you have just like that you can shift select them of course let's say I shift select them all put 400 and they all have 400 and now we go to the paint tool we click and we have more dense field over here all right this is looking pretty good right now pretty dense pretty good but we still don't have our wind applied so let me just paint it around here let me select them all, uh, 400, I'm gonna go to paint and let's start painting them all, just like that, creating some good looking field over here. And what I want to do is I want to erase a little part of it around our well over here, maybe a little, little less something like that and I'm gonna create a little path over here just like that all right so when I spawn my character I'll have a little path to our well over here of course I can uh, put some more foliages but as you can see now nothing is moving and we don't have our wind applied all right, so we can move on. And what we need to do is we need to go into our uh, foliage material, this one, the weed grass, uh, the first and second one. So I'm just gonna double click on it. And when you double click on it, uh, Quixel already created the wind in the material. So what you need to do is you need just to enable it. So first click here, enable grass wind, click over here. And right now you have a few options, wind intensity, wind height, wind speed, all right? So I'm just going to enable them all. I'm going to click save. And now when I play my scene, as you can see, we have some wind over here, all right? But it's pretty basic and they're not moving too much. It's, it's good right now, but you can tweak it up and boost it. So let me boost it up a little bit here from wind intensity. Let's put 0.4, save it. Another good tip is that you can preview this uh, without playing the game. 
So right now I have my win enabled. Let's click play. And now my field, the wind is pretty good, pretty natural. If you want to boost it up a little bit more, of course, you can go here. You can tweak it up to 0.8. And you can see this all in real time over here. And of course, you can play with the other parameters like the wind height, creating some, some kind of storm. And I can boost the intensity a little bit more and create this kind of funky effect. Let me just play it so you guys can see how it looks. Pretty funky, right? And it's not uh, believable. So I'm just going to put this to point zero. And win intensity to point eight or point nine. I'm going to tweak up the height a little bit more just to move them a little bit uh, more. All right. And this is looking pretty good right now. And of course, if you want to tweak up the wind and create a different logic into the material, you can go to the master material and how to do this. You can double click over here and scroll the way down and click here on the parent. And this will show up your master material. When I double click, I can see over here the wind node that Quixel created. It's created by uh, using the simple grass wind and it's slurped by a parameter and vertex cover for the alpha. And from here, you can enable the grass wind or disable it. This is pretty much how they created this uh, effect. And everything is connected to the world position. Let me just show it over here, world position offset. All right. And those are the four parameters that you tweak the wind intensity, the wind height. Keep in mind that the shader model should be two-sided foliage and the two-sided check mark should be clicked. All right. This is where you can create and customize your wind. I'm also working on a grass bending, which I'm going to show you in some of the next videos. But the idea here is that you can bend grass with your character when you walk on the grass. So this is pretty much how you can enable the wind in Quixel Megascans and how you can control it and tweak it. Thank you guys for watching this pretty short and quick video on how to enable wind with the Quixel Megascans library.